Let's develop a simple JSP document that receives two parameters, width and height of a specific rectangle, and um, returns a, a, a dynamic page that lists the width, height, and area, as well as the perimeter of the rectangle, its width and height were sent to the JSP document. So let's name this, the, the JSP document with the name rectangle info dot JSP. Um, and let's save it where we save all uh, static files of the web application we are working on here in this folder uh, rectangle info.jsp now let's um, assume that we get from the form a form an HTML form we shall develop uh, two parameters one is the width parameter and the other one is height so I define two local variables um, every code the code I write within uh, these symbols is injected into the uh, service method uh, of the servlet that um, is executed on behalf of the JSP document. So it is the same as if you imagine uh, writing a servlet and putting this code within the do get or the do post. So get parameter and the name of the parameter in this case is height. Um, well, just in case. Um, Let's say that the user enter a space, a uh, redundant space before or after the, the number. We can take it away. We can just do the with str equals with str dot trim. We can do the same with it str equals it str dot trim. So we have just uh, taken away all redundant spaces and now we can define the width um, variable to take the value returned from calling parse double passing over with str the same with height equals double dot parse double Height str, and now we can calculate the area. We can calculate the perimeter. Let's just put this, and uh, we can use those values. dynamic HTML file returned from the JSP document so it can look like okay let's get down one line and put width equals width and the same with height and with area Well, uh, request is a pretty fine variable that exists um, when we develop a JSP document. So is the out. Out is also a predefined variable we can use. So now that I have completed this code, I can give it a try. Uh, oh, one more 
thing, we should first develop the HTML form. So let's uh, create a new document and let's create our form. Well, the form will include um, the URL address we refer. Um, it can be a relative URL, so we can just uh, write down the name of the JSP file, assuming the HTML file will be saved on the server within the same folder where we have the JSP. So if the JSP document and the HTML document are in the same folder, we can just uh, place the name of the JSP document. Um, method, we can make it get, post, it works. Um, JSP document by default can handle both get and post. And now let's put some GUI components. Um, well, we have input type equals text. And uh, let's don't forget the name. So it would be clear uh, that the value entered in into this text field will be sent to the JSP document as a parameter. Its name is width. Um, okay. Doing the same with the uh, height. And um, don't forget placing the submit button. So we have a file, an HTML file, let's save it within the same folder where we have the rectangle info.jsp. Let's just give it a name. A recce dot html so uh, okay recce dot html so now we can browse a uh, recce dot uh, html get the form and enter the values let's say three uh, four and press submit well uh, 3 and 4 are sent to the JSP document as two parameters. The JSP document um, gets those two parameters by calling the getParameter method on the request object. And then we take off those redundant uh, spaces and do the calculation and eventually return back a detailed message. Looks like this one.